Salaki Aki, I'm, uh, my video cut off because I didn't have a, enough storage on my phone, so I had to go delete some shit and restart my phone and all that. But back to the lesson. Like I was saying, got a lot of brothers out there, whether on the job or with people in their personal life, just you know running it with them, picking their brain. And uh, they've been telling them, oh, I just can't watch the news because the it's just so negative. There's nothing positive out here, out here. There's just nothing positive that they're saying out there. Well, we're not living in positive times. We're living in the times of the judgments of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, for all the wickedness and the iniquity that's being committed out here. And again, should we then make mirth? Of course not. If you're an Israelite, you should be doing whatever you can to stay in the good graces of your power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Come to repentance and take yourself out of this world as much as you can, out of the house of feasting and fools and being in the house of mourning. But back in uh, Ezekiel 21, verse 11, and he hath given it to be furbished, that it may be handled, that this sword is sharpened and it is furbished, to give it into the hand of the slayer, the wicked Esau Edom, that devil that's about to come down in great wrath because he knows that his time is almost up. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the children of Israel. Again, it's called Jacob's trouble for a reason. The Most High is about to raw you Israelites out one more time before the kingdom of heaven is going to be established. And as it says in uh, Daniel chapter 12, which I'll get it. This is Daniel chapter 12, verse 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth up for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation, even to the same time, Jacob's trouble, a time more horrific than anything in human history, as it said, a time like no other. And it's going to get so bad out here that even the archangel Michael is going to have to uh, protect the elect of the nation of Israel. As it says, everyone that shall be found, Slakia, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone that shall be found written in the book of the book of life, the elect who are out here in the house of mourning, sighing and crying for all the abominations that be done therein to get that uh, the wah, that mark of exemption, that spiritual mark on their forehead to be saved from these calamities of Jacob's trouble, to be saved from that slayer, given that great sword to be furbished and sharpened and to be put on the wicked of our people and hey the most high is no respecter of persons everybody is going to get that work in that day i'll get that real quick this is ezekiel chapter 9 started verse 4 and yahweh said unto him speaking unto a death angel a spirit created for vengeance to appease the wrath of the most high to bring about his judgments, his punishments on the wicked of our people. And Yahweh said unto him, go through the midst of the city, through the midst of Jerusalem. And remember, Jerusalem is a people before it's a place. So it's speaking of the nation of Israel. And set a mark that the wah upon the foreheads of the men that sigh and that cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. A, the prophets, the 144,000 who are a part of the elect of the nation of Israel, out on the highways and byways preaching this word, as well as putting up these video epistles, sighing and crying for this wicked society, asking the Most High how long before he takes it down, and hey, to tell our people to come to repentance, because the Most High is about to bring great death and destruction upon this world, especially our people. Verse 5. And to the others, he said in mine hearing, go ye after him through the city and smite. Let not your eyes spare, neither have ye pity. And they enact the will of the Most High without a, a second thought, without hesitation. They're like the Terminator. They won't eat, they don't sleep, they won't stop until you are dead, until they complete their judgment, their mission from Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Slay utterly, old and young, both maids and little children, 
and women, but come not near any man upon whom is that the wa, that mark of exemption, as well as the sincere uh, sisters out there, the, the aqua that are trying to be uh, righteous women for Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They're going to have that uh, mark of the wa, that exemption on their forehead as well. So when these death angels go through and start killing off people, hey, whether the angels literally materialize and put you to death, or they hop on these other people out here, these Edomites, animals, whatever, these spirits created for vengeance to enact their judgment, they're going to pass by the elect and begin at my sanctuary, was the saying uh, Peter's, This is a uh, first Peter four and 17 for the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of the most high. And if it first begin at us, what shall be the end of them that obey not the gospel? So judgment is going to begin at the house of Israel, the nation of Israel. And that's even, and that's first and foremost upon those that know that they're Israelites because they, they, they should know the right thing to be, be doing to appease the most high. But as we can clearly see, a lot of our people out here that know that they're Israelites, even some that are out prophesying and preaching, are wicked. They're doing it for filthy lucre's sake or just for their own vain deceits. Judgment is going to begin at them first, and then it's going to trickle down to the rest of the nation of Israel. The, the ones that, that don't know they're Israelites or have heard of Israel and that they are Israelites, but they, they don't want to accept it. And as it said in uh, Ezekiel 9 and 6, slay utterly old and young both maids and little children and women so old people young people women children virgins whores scumbags sodomites everybody the most high is going to run rush out of the wicked of our people and put them to death horrifically and one of the main instruments one of the main tools he's going to be using is his wicked the sword esau edom and we got a little teaser of that with these uh, spirits created for vengeance out there like Jeffrey Dahmer, who again, his main targets were uh, so-called Negro men, Judite men, who were living that wicked, sodomite lifestyle, which a lot of our people are living right now. And since this society heavily promotes it, they feel no shame in their game, so to speak. So they just out here flaunting everything. And begin at my sanctuary, then they began at the ancient men, which were before the house. So again, with all these things quickly coming down the pipeline, should we then make mirth? Should we be in the house of feasting? The house of fools having a, a good old fucking time? No, we should be in the house of mourning. Humbly praying to Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai, that we receive that the wah, that mark of exemption to be saved from these spirits created for vengeance and all these other... Uh, means that the most high is going to bring great death and destruction upon our people and the and the whole earth with but back in ezekiel 21 verse 12 cry and howl son of man for it shall be upon my people you so-called negroes latinos and native americans the true children of israel whether you want to accept it or not it shall be upon all the princes of israel terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people that sword again being these edomites these so-called white people which hate you so-called negroes latinos and native americans there's going to be no coming together no peace or anything like that these devils are really going to show their horns and kill off a lot of you israelites horrifically you, you should have been you should have gotten it by now over the last 500 years with all the rape robbery and murder that these white people have been doing to you but our people are hard-headed and uh, home-born slaves and servants, as it says in Jeremiah chapter 2, verse 14. And hey, you're about to get fired by a zaddy, by the slave master. Cry and howl, son of man, for it shall be upon my people. It shall be upon all the princes of Israel. Terrors by reason of the sword shall be upon my people. Smite therefore upon the thigh. 
point blank period, mass death, destruction, and horror all from the Most High. It, again, these spirits created for vengeance. Death angels out here, serial killers, mass murderers, animals destroying people, famines, pestilences, all that. Let's see where I want to go now. This is uh, Jeremiah 30, verse 7. Alas, for that day is great, a day and a time like no other, as it said in Daniel chapter 12, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. But who's that he that's going to be saved out of it? And the elect, the hopeful elect, which Abarat Dazah, I'm of that number, that are in the house of mourning right now, a sign and crying for all the abominations thereof, a, to receive that the wa, that mark of exemption, to be safe from these calamities which are quickly coming our way. It's crazy. At this area, I come to to uh, prophesy at a lot of northern kingdoms here. A lot of northern kingdoms always passing back and forth and again they got that uh festival going over there so hey israel as a whole can't say that they haven't heard the words of the prophets the southern kingdom you so-called negroes so-called african americans have been hearing it for the longest hey and i'm i'm here preaching a hey, to the wind most of the time but hey if you even hear the words of the most high hey, you're you're gonna be condemned by it whether you you're either going to take heed to it or you're going to forbear it. And if you forbear it, you're going to receive judgment. And it's a lot of northern kingdoms. So you so-called Latinos and Native Americans aren't exempt as well. That's what I'm looking for is just slipping my mind right now. Yeah, I'll... Uh, Probably just close it out with this. Just to back up, you know, what I was saying, how hey, even though I'm prophesying to the wind, hey, the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai are still going out. And those that hear it, they're either going to take heed to it or they're going to forbear it. And if they forbear it, the only thing that's going to come to them is that death by pain. But this is a uh, Proverbs chapter 20, Proverbs chapter one. I'm going to start at verse 20. Wisdom crieth without. She uttereth her voice in the streets, in the chief places of concourse, in the highways and byways, in places where a lot of people are, where a lot of people can hear the word, Israelites as well as heathens, because the heathens have to hear their judgment as well. But we're mainly preaching to you Israelites of repentance and the judgments you're gonna receive for not taking heed to the words of the prophets of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. She crieth in the chief place of concourse, in the openings of the gates, in the city she uttereth her words, saying, How long, ye simple ones, will ye love simplicity? Being in the house of feasting, in the house of fools, having a good old time, just thinking everything's going to go back to normal, America's going to bounce back, and all these terrible calamities that those crazy guys on the street corners with uh, funny dresses and beards are saying is not going to come to pass. It's going to be sodomites, adulterers, gangbangers, thugs, whores, african-american mexican just regular old american all that bullshit and the scorners delight in their scorning hey, these scoffers out here just talking shit about the word talking shit towards the men of the lord where they're walking up to them on the block they're making your little petty comments on the comment board and fools hate knowledge hating the knowledge of yahweh by hashem yahweh shai that's being given to you freely the Most High is pleading with you to come back to repentance, to be safe from these calamities. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you through his men, his prophets. Because I have called and ye have refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded. But ye have set at naught all my counsel 
and would none of my reproof. As it says in 2nd Ezra chapter 9, when yet place of repentance was open unto them, they scoffed at it and tossed it behind their backs. Verse 26, I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. So with the majority of our people out here laughing and mocking at the men of the Lord and the words of the Most High, when these judgments truly come, when these spirits created for vengeance are really set loose, these animals, these Edomites, all these calamities, the Most High is going to mock and laugh at you. And his men who have been warning you of these things are going to mock and laugh at you too, saying, we told you so, we're going to be seeing you starve to death. Your kids starving to death, you getting torn up by animals, dying from pestilences, getting shot up. We're going to laugh at it because it is just deserved for you. When your fear cometh as desolation and your destruction cometh as a whirlwind, when distress and anguish cometh upon you, then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me back in that Jeremiah chapter 15 and when they shall ask what these things shall be what are we going to say to them those to the death to the death to the sword to the sword to the famine to the famine captivity to captivity getting torn up and ripped apart by wild beasts out here for that they hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh they would none of my counsel they despised all my reproof therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. So whatever life you were living, whatever wickedness and energy you put out, that very same thing is gonna come back to you and, and wash you away like a great flood of judgment, death, and destruction. And it's much well-deserved. But uh, that's it with this lesson. And with this lesson, I hope you sincere Akim and Aqua were edified, hey, again, we can clearly see that all these end times prophecies that the Most High told us would be taking place in the last days, or the last seconds of the last days are taking place as we speak. So with that being the case, with this place of uh, liberty and grace open unto us, we should just continue to diligently be uh, humbly beseeching our power, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, to give us that uh, Tawa, that mark of exemption from all these calamities that are quickly coming. But as for the wicked of our people that don't want to take heed, the only thing you have to look forward to is death, destruction, watching your loved ones be put to death, all that right before your very eyes. And again, it's much deserved because the prophet